Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to briefly go over all the different React Material UI templates that Material UI offers, and I'm going to talk a bit about the code and how you should be using this code. Now, I've never actually had to use a Material UI template for one of my websites. Um, they have some pretty good ones here, but as you'll see, they aren't as comprehensive as you would hope. In fact, the most I would say you should expect to take out of these is if you are building a very specific uh, screen, such as a dashboard or a sign-in page, you can see what elements they use and how they use them. But as far as a React project goes, you should still be setting up your own React project with your own Redux or whatever store you want to use with your own Create React app and your own package.json and all the other dependencies that your package would have. So, and before I get more into it, if you enjoy this video, and find value in it, please consider leaving a comment, subscribing, or liking the video. It really helps the YouTube channel and it really helps with the algorithm pushing uh, our videos out there. So let's take a look at some of the examples we have here. So the first example is a dashboard. And you can see here, the dashboard is actually pretty cool. We have a graph in the middle and we have, um, let's say for example, some statistics on how much money we might have in our account. Uh, some orders that we might have recently fulfilled and on the side we have a couple buttons in a drawer that don't really do much um, but are sort of placeholder. If we were to go ahead and look at the source code for this we would see that in fact the source code is pretty small and it doesn't look like any other um, any other React project you've probably seen. There's no source folder, there's no public folder, there's no package.json or nothing. The only thing that they include in these examples is actually just the bare components you see here itself. So for example, if we wanted to look at the code for the chart, we would go into chart.js and we'd see here that they're actually making the chart from another package called recharts. And this is just how they are doing uh, the chart. And you'll notice that the syntax is a bit off. They're not using arrow functions. Uh, they're using react.fragment instead of the newer form, which is just the self-closing braces that replaces a uh, react.fragment. And let me uh, zoom in a bit so it's easy for you guys to see the code. Um, that's pretty much what Material UI is going to give you when you look at one of these templates. It's not enough to just clone this and expect it to run. You have to pretty much just insert these uh, specific um, files straight into your or components straight into your application in order to make them work. The nice thing about them is I believe beforehand they weren't using hooks and they were using the old style of doing things but they recently updated it when React got their big hook update to include things like make styles which is their styles hook for um, JSS. And we can go back and look at some of the other examples that they have. They have a sign-in page. So this is pretty much, you're going to say to yourself, this looks a lot like Google. And that is because Google does use material themes. So um, when you go to this, uh, when you click on the input, Material UI's input is the same as like Gmail's input. And that's why you see the email address come up here and everything like that. And you'll see it actually has no real functionality. Once again, uh, this is all just pretty much a component level code that you could uh, copy straight in and in fact none of this has any actual uh, functionality whatsoever other than just how it looks on the UI. Um, we have a sign-on with a sort of image on the side. Um, <laughs> I wonder what determines, I guess it's just, it chooses from a random image every time you look at it. You have a sign up page with some cool fields you can use. There is a blog page, so you can see the main page of a blog. Um, none of this stuff actually works, but it just gives you an idea of how you could make a blog work um, with Material UI components. We have a checkout page. So let's go and look at uh, that checkout page. Um, we have an album page. Um, and and if if you look closely, you can see that this is all just being comprised of basic Material UI components. This right here is just a card with a card action um, tab at the bottom. We have a card media, a card heading, and card description over here. Uh, we have pretty much just two buttons in a very basic layout, an app bar within a uh, an app bar and a toolbar inside of that app bar. These are all just pretty much. Um, built out of it. So while I wouldn't recommend, like I said before, and we can go through the last two really quickly, we have pretty much pricing, um, 
pretty much a page where you can like say for example if you have a, a SaaS website um, you have a place where you can display your pricing and have buttons that lead to different places and finally uh, the last one is pretty much just uh, they give you an example of how they made a sticky footer uh, which is a footer that just sticks to the bottom of the screen no matter what's there but like I was saying um, I recommend not really trying to use these as uh, code to start with but actually just um, using this as inspiration of how you can make things look with material UI and if you really want to build something that looks exactly like one of these things you can just copy the code for one of these components and put it into your existing file I've gotten a couple of comments asking how to make an application with just the material UI templates um, but as I said before these templates don't actually give you an actual react application they're just templates for specific uh, components and pages and as you can see here they have a premium template section um, these are a lot of templates that not only material UI has uh, given but some other people have built as well and put it up for sale on the website I have not actually ordered um, any of these before but I can only assume it's going to be pretty much very similar to what we uh, have just seen we have a lot of page examples everything is built um, with hooks um, it looks like they are using Redux so perhaps this might be an actual uh, website and a complete website that you can buy where they have set up um, Redux and everything like that so if, if you're really into making something similar to this then it might make more sense to buy a premium and as you can see here um, the higher you uh, go up you actually get access to all their sketch and Figma sources sketch and Figma are both UX tools that you can use um, to create uh, UIs if you saw my recent video about creating a UI with Matilda UI I made a standard UI that I recreated um, through uh, uh, Figma and sketch um, so if you really want something that gives you the entire thing, you can see here it'll come built with React Until UI, Redux, uh, Draft.js, Chart.js, Prism.js, uh, React Markdown, and Full Calendar. Then you can look into perhaps buying one of these premium drafts. Some of them are free. We have a Matilio dashboard, but depending on what you want them to look like, um, I'm sure you guys will have different preferences. But yeah, that was just a quick talk about... Um, pretty much just the templates that Material UI provides and how I think you should use them. Thanks for watching and I hope everyone stays safe and uh, like I said before, if you found value in this video, please consider subscribing, hitting the like button or leaving a comment. It really helps the channel. Um, it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. So thanks and I'll see you guys later.